know if you guys have seen my weather vane my dad made for Christmas. Well, there it is. And it works awesome. Well, I'm going to tack this hole here. At some point in this life of this bus, probably in New, in New England here, they uh, actually cut in and there was a piece of metal that was came down like this. See the holes? It, um, I think they were trying to get a little additional heat in the, uh, in the cargo area here. So I'm gonna make something up here and just patch that. Treat some of that rust coming down right there just so it. Doesn't go any further. All right, I made this patch up. Filled these two little holes here. Patch. Put this thing in here. a little bit of progress put uh, the moss foam on there it's all uh, like seam sealer in these joints and you just gouge it all out and um, yeah get a little something on there I'm gonna start treating some of this metal just so it doesn't it stops the rust um, on these top hats here I'm looking over some things and picked these up a while ago uh, these are top hat sections for here I figure I'd take you with me on this adventure a little bit crawling under here Grind some of this down. Oh yeah, it's just me still out in the garage. Driver's side frame rail. Yeah, this rail is uh gonna need some love. Fun is. So I've been cracking away at this for the past eh, three hours or so with a uh, wire brush and making good progress. Um, I'm starting to remember parts and pieces. Um, I was talking about the top set, the top hat section, and this one definitely going to get replaced. This one's okay, not going to get replaced. Uh, this one, I forgot. I forgot about this one. Yeah, all the pieces are right here. Yeah. I remember removing this about a year ago or so. Uh, so yeah, top hat uh, lays right here. 
Uh, but obviously this has got to get fixed and everything. This is a shift rod, shift rod tube. Um, needs a little bit of a repair section here. So uh, I'm going to start treating some of this rust so that it doesn't get any worse. And got a nice big bottle. Osfo. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. But uh, yeah, just going to brush it on and see how this goes. Nothing fancy here, you know. All right, I'll take care of this and uh, I'll bring you back. So I'm out here today and I'm gonna start with getting this beat top hat section out of here. Jacking point, outrigger, all at one as one piece. This will come right out. Um, these are for the emergency brake cables. I got two of those. I got to get these tubes out and shift rod tube that's got to come out all right we're going to disconnect this uh shift rod coupling eight millimeter all right here's the front one Yeah, that's gonna just soak. <sighs> Alright, cutting that off. I'm not even gonna waste my time. Now here we are up front, this is the, uh, this is the condition of the front end here. I gotta take, take apart these, um, the emergency brake cables and the shifter, but yeah, see everything's painted black, nice black rust-oleum. So everything was protected all these years, but it also sat inside. All these cobwebs. Let's get rid of it. Let's evict some cobwebs right now. Goodbye. Your turn is done. Let's take that shifter out. Okay, that's out. This parking brake actually is works perfectly but it's got to go for now. All right, I'll show you where I'm at after working on this a little bit. Shift rods out. Um, I was not going to fight this. So this is the front of the car. Shift it like this. Coming back like this. And right at that joint, no, no. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight that. So I cut it. Let's 
deal with that another time. So I'm working on getting the tubes out for the emergency brake cables. Uh, you got one here and one here. And I tried to get my Dremel in here to cut the, because they're welded at each, at each support. And you can't do that. So I had to crawl in from underneath and just break the weld free with, and it actually, it, it popped free. And once, once you get it to move, wiggle a little bit, you get it out of the way. And then I took the Dremel and just kind of clean that, clean that bump up. And so emergency brake cables are out, pulled them out that way. And I'm just kind of tap, tapping and wiggling this, this way. Something to watch, right? Really wasn't that bad. And then I'll come go in the front and pull it out. Thought it was gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> Come on, baby. Keep going until you hurt yourself, right? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fun going back in, huh? While you're sitting on your couch. It's okay, I do it too. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Okay, okay. Alright. So... I want to show this. <laughs> you get it to this point, and you're like, oh, maybe it just, it was, that hole was meant for it to go right through. Hmm. Don't do that. It's like 20 degrees out here. Keep going until you're happy. So my plan today is to repair this shift rod tube. Um, so the shift rod tube is all freed up. It does spin. Um, this part off the end was rotten, obviously. So I'm gonna buzz this off. So yeah, the reason why I pulled this up, it actually has the dimensions on here, 1475 millimeters long. So when you convert that to inches, it is 58 inches. So we will cut off the bad and weld on the new piece. So we can keep moving this hat channel, get this in and work on that other side. <laughs> this trigger struck.
All right, so little by little, I thought I only had to replace about six inches of it. But of course you find little and little, little more rust until it's cut back that far. You're only cutting off what we need, but yeah, when you run into that, that's no good. So here we are. Everything's nice and prepped. And weld that in, and that will be re repaired. So that can still slide forward a good amount, and I can work this out and keep working on that side outrigger. So here we go. I'm going to weld that up. So I'd say this is pretty, pretty damn near perfect fit. You know, AutoCraft wants $66 for this tubing. As being an electrician, this stuff is free to me, so. <laughs> Keep going like that. Little by little. Turn this down a little. All right, cut out the bad, and it's all good. One inch EMT, perfect fit. So I have no idea where I've left off uh, filming wise, so just uh, catch up to speed. Um, Started with this middle chassis or rear rear chassis support. Welded that in. The um, outriggers are both in. One and there's two there. Um, top hat. It's all welded nice, nice. Um, and I'm about ready to do the uh, jacking points just to get them out of the way. Um, I have the old one here as a reference to kind of where where to weld. Not much welding on this one, just a little weld on the back side. And I'm just going to weld this hole at, all around this piece here. That's pretty much it. Very similar parts. So we'll get that welded up real quick. Let's get this thing fired up and test it out. I, I haven't tested it, tested it yet. We ran uh, air over to it. We got power. Let's just play with it. Got this old piece here. We're just going to take a slice off of it. All right, let's give this a shot.
yeah, I would say in all, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to definitely save me in some spots that are uh, tough to get to, cutting-wise. Thank <laughs> you.